Air travel is one of the most important and fastest modes of travel. Airplanes have completely changed traveling as they transcend borders and can take you almost anywhere, yes, any of the 192 countries. The wheel is the greatest invention of mankind, and planes have taken the most advantage of it. There are normal planes which are used for everyday air travel, and then there are planes which rule the airspace with their gigantic sizes. Some of them are even used to carry space shuttle cargo. If you think you've seen huge planes, you're in for a surprise. Here's a list of the top 10 largest transports in the world. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Number 10. Antonov AN-225 Mraya The Antonov AN-225 Mraya is a strategic airlift cargo aircraft that was designed by the Antonov Design Bureau in Ukraine SSR within the Soviet Union during the 1980s. By most metrics, the Antonov AN-225 is the biggest plane in the world. Only one of these monster cargo craft was built by the Antonov Design Bureau in Ukraine. It was designed to carry the Buran space plane the Soviet version of the space shuttle, as well as the Energia rocket boosters, but the plane quickly found other airlifting work after being refurbished with the collapse of the Soviet space program. You can't throw away such an important plane to waste. It's the heaviest aircraft ever built, with a maximum takeoff weight of 710 tons. It holds the record for total airlifted payload at 559,580 pounds, as well as airlifted single-item payload at 418,830 pounds. It has the longest wingspan of any plane currently flying at 290 feet. It's got six freakishly huge engines. The AN-225 is a monster among planes. It's the longest-bodied, longest-winged, and heaviest operational plane in the world. Its cargo compartment is big enough to hold 50 cars, and there's only one operational Antonov AN-225 in the world. Number 9. Super Guppy The Aerospace Line Super Guppy is a large, wide-bodied cargo aircraft that's used for hauling outsized cargo components. It was the successor to the Pregnant Guppy, the first of the Guppy aircraft produced by Aerospace Lines. Five were built in two variants, both of which were colloquially referred to as the Super Guppy. The Super Guppy is a monster. The bloated aircraft has been retired by every institution in the world except one, NASA. The U.S. Space Agency finds the Guppy's wide dimensions perfect for transporting spacecraft and rocket components, and it is perfect for it. The first Super Guppy was constructed from a ballooned fuselage taken from a Boeing C-97 Stratofreighter taking to the skies in 1965. The turboprop cargo plane was largely replaced by the Airbus Beluga for large and awkwardly shaped cargo delivery, but as long as NASA still has a use for the Super Guppy, it will continue to baffle people. The Super Guppy is the only airplane in the world capable of carrying a complete S-4B stage, the third stage of the Saturn V rocket. The Super Guppy performed this role several times during the Apollo program. Number 8. Boeing 747 Dreamlifter in the 2000s, Boeing found that it needed a cargo plane with an enormous amount of storage to transport components for the 787 Dreamliner, which has parts made all over the world. The solution was to take its biggest plane, the 747, and build a custom cargo hold around it. At 65,000 cubic feet, the Dreamlifter has the largest cargo hold in the world, capable of carrying three times the volume of a 747-400F freighter, which if you don't know is a pretty big deal. The four Dreamlifters Boeing made also use the longest cargo loader in the world and can haul payloads up to 125 tons. The first 747 large cargo freighter, LCF, was rolled out of the hangar at Taipei Taoyuan International Airport on August 17, 2006. It successfully completed its first test flight on September 9, 2006 from this airport. Number 7. Antonov AN-124 Ruslan Another monster designed and built by the Antonov Design Bureau in the Ukraine SSR, the AN-124 Ruslan, which is operated by the Russian Air Force, is the largest military aircraft in the world. For almost 30 years after its introduction in 1984, the AN-124 was the largest and heaviest cargo aircraft in the world other than the single AN-225. The 747-8F overtook the AN-124 in 2011 with a reported payload capacity of 165 tons. The AN-124 can haul even more than the C-5 Galaxy, though its range is not as long. A surviving engineering triumph of the Soviets, the AN-124 continues to fly airlifting missions for Russia. The AN-124 is in service with the Russian Air Force as well as several cargo operators who use it to move particularly heavy and oversized cargo, for example, in support of the American and European space programs. From the outside, the AN-124 is similar to the American Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, having a double fuselage to allow for a rear cargo door that can open in flight without affecting structural integrity. It's one of our favorite aircraft on the list. Number 6. Boeing B-52 Stratofortress 
The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is an American long-range subsonic jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. It's been operated by the United States Air Force since the 1950s. The first B-52H, the currently serving model, was introduced in 1961. It's a monster and one of the most frightening planes in the air. The B-52 bomber is the grandfather of the Air Force, aging but still capable of delivering a serious punch. The buff can carry 70,000 pounds of weapons from precision-guided conventional bombs to nuclear warheads, while the B-2 stealth bomber and B-1 supersonic bomber could be retired when the B-21 is introduced, the Air Force wants to outfit the reliable B-52 with new engines to improve efficiency and range. While the giant bomber enters its sixth decade of service, the technology within its hold is ever-evolving. The Air Force is also planning to equip the B-52 with the long-range standoff missile, a stealthy nuclear cruise missile. B-52s have been modified for low-level flight, conventional bombing, extended range flights, and transport of improved defensive and offensive equipment, including ballistic and cruise missiles that can be launched hundreds of miles from their targets. Number 5. Airbus Beluga The Airbus A300-600 Super Transporter, commonly called the Beluga, was designed specifically to transport large and awkward aircraft parts similar to the Dreamlifter. For us, it's one of the cutest transport vehicles out there. It received the official name of Super Transporter early on. However, the name Beluga, a whale which it resembles, gained popularity and has since become officially adopted. Entering service in 1995, the Air Force largely replaced the Super Guppy, serving European needs for large air cargo. Different parts of this craft were designed and built by Airbus engineers across Europe in countries including the UK, Germany, France, and Spain. Its 124-foot payload bay can carry almost 52 tons. It's very slightly shorter and narrower than the Beluga XL and can't carry as heavy of a payload. Number 4. McDonnell Douglas KC-10 Extender The largest fuel capacity tanker aircraft in the world entered service in 1981. The KC-10 Extender has a total fuel capacity of 52,250 gallons or about 175 tons of fuel. It was designed to provide a more capable tanker than the Boeing KC-135, which was about 25 years old at that point. The Air Force has acquired a new tanker called the Boeing KC-46 Pegasus, which is much more efficient and has more advanced avionics than the KC-10. But the extender still has the Pegasus beat on fuel capacity by about 70 tons. The KC-10 stores jet fuel in three main wing tanks, as well as large fuel tanks under the cargo floor. It can alternatively be flown with a crew of 75 and 73 tons of cargo, or 85 tons of cargo in an all-cargo configuration. Number 3. Boeing 747 The Dreamlifter is already on the list, but it only represents a small part of the accomplishments of the Queen of the Skies. Over 1,500 Boeing 747s have been built, serving as one of the largest passenger and cargo aircraft in the world. As a military command center in the sky, Air Force One, a space shuttle lifter and infrared telescope flyer for NASA, and Iron Maiden even had one called Ed Force One. The aircraft is being phased out of airlines in favor of a single aisle design that can now fly with enough range to cross the oceans, but is the only U.S. mass-manufactured four-engine jumbo jet, the Boeing 747 has some years in it yet. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2 It seems like the plane in this picture is photoshopped, as there's no airplane in the world which has that many compartments. We believe the person who made this picture had the plane with upper and lower compartments. But there is no plane of more than four compartments in it, otherwise it would be the world's biggest passenger plane made. Sadly, that's not possible as of now. Who knows in the future? Number 1. Strato Launch Strato Launch has yet to fly, so we cannot say it dominates the skies just yet, but it certainly is a monster plane. The composite six-engine twin fuselage aircraft designed and built by Scaled Composites has the longest wingspan in the world, 385 feet from tip to tip. If you placed a strato launch on a football field, the wings would extend through the goalposts with an extra 12 and a half feet on both sides. The aircraft is designed to carry rockets up to the stratosphere and drop them, where they would then launch into space. The alternative to conventional rocket launches could conserve some of the fuel needed to overcome all of Earth's gravity from sea level into orbit, and launch small rockets at a rapid pace. Strato launch could carry as many as three small launch vehicles at a time. Virgin Orbit is working on a similar plan to launch rockets using a 747-400. Stratolaunch recently conducted low-speed runway tests, the first time it moved under the power of its six turbofans. 
high-speed runway tests are next, and when this plane eventually takes to the skies, it'll be the biggest monster of them all. That's our list of the 10 largest types of transports in the world. Which one would you want to use? Tell us in the comments, and if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.